Ngoloma Stadium in Lusaka, Zambia is the venue, of course, as Red Arrows, the Air Ladies, will be up against uh, ZIST, Zambian Institute for Sustainable Development, of course. The Kuchalo girls in this crunch do a die encounter for both teams, of course, who are aiming, uh, you know, to make it into the semi final playoffs for this transition women's and national league, of course. We are expecting a lot from this particular match because it's do or die, like Kenya mentioned, Red Arrows are looking for a victory to secure qualification to the semi-finals whereas ZISD a draw will still advantage them because they have the last game against Busa this weekend so Red Arrows this is their last game of the season and the expectations are very high from the air ladies who have had uh, you know a very tough second round of uh, this particular transitional league in zone A zone B actually whereas uh, ZISD seems to be a rejuvenated side it's a team that has defied all odds this season Last year, they were bashed, demolished, flashed by Red Arrows 13-0. But this time around, we are talking about a different uh, team altogether. The reverse fixture, which was in April 21st. This particular year, Jedi ST won 2-0. The Benz, Engles, Tumbare, and Dinaros Banda, of course, scored for Jedi ST. So we're expecting a lot. Let's wait and see where the Red Arrows will be able to defend and support. But they're up against the Kutalo girls, Team Kwapu, of course. And we're expecting a lot. I'm Moses Pedro Mwanza, the community football reporter. I'll run you through the match proceedings from this venue. So, Team Kwapu announcing their presence here. So, that is uh, the Sedais Dio Kuchalo. They are up against the air ladies in this duo die encounter. Here at the Coloma Stadium, of course, our referee, Mr. Francis Chichali, will be able to get us through this particular match. He's being assisted by uh, Luyan Doshikabi, who is the first assistant, whereas uh, Rachel Mutuna is the second assistant. Chris Kapiri is our fourth official. So, Coach Michael Mufishi and uh, Coach Zilole Daka have maintained the same lineup that defeated Queen's Academy on Sunday. No changes. They are having faith in the winning team. And here we go. It is Red Arrows who will get us underway here in this particular match here at Nkoloma Stadium. Thank you so much once again. I'm Moses Pedro Mwanza, the community football reporter. Run you through the match and proceedings. So that is the uh, in their traditional green, whereas Red Arrows are in white with some red. So that is Mary Mambo, the trick star with the cross. So we are going to see the first corner kick in this particular match. Of course, that's taken us one minute to witness the first corner. This looks like it's going to be a cracking game. Like earlier mentioned, both teams are in need of uh, one spot, which is a playoff in the semi-finals in this transitional league. Green Buffaloes awaits. Who will meet Green Buffaloes next week on Wednesday? Will it be ZISD or Red Arrows? Let's wait and see. Mary Mam with the corner for the Air Ladies. Headed away there by Esther Simpamba. Shortly, I'll run you through the lineups for both teams. I'll start with a Red Arrows a lineup. We have Dennis Kasoka in go. We have Memory Dorin Masela on the left back position. Whereas uh, Elizabeth Nashifula is on the right back. Rudy Fanny Lizulu is partnering with Fikiden Kosa, who is the captain of the side, at the head of defense for the Air Ladies. We have Mary Mulenga in the middle of the park alongside the trickster Mary Mambo on the right flank. Mary Lombe is on the left flank position. We have Alinis Kasuma is partnering square my machine up front to complete the lineup for Red Arrows. We are being led by Coach Simon Valley, being assisted by Coach Ednasha Mambo, Coach Jessica Chabota. Not for getting uh, the team manager. Madam Clementina Mazua and the goalkeeper coach being a former national team goalkeeper coach of course Miriam Katamada Let's get back uh, to ZISD's lineup Like earlier mentioned, it is the same team that defeated Queen's Academy 3-0 on Sunday They have precious Chido Zingirai, the Zimbabwean goalkeeper in goal for ZISD Whereas uh, Paxina Chirwa is on the right back position Jacqueline Lupambo Tomba is on the left back position, whereas the Benz, another Zimbabwean international, Engines Tumbari, is partnering Miriam Wape at the heart of defense. 
We have the likes of Atamara Mtonga anchoring the midfield. And uh, she's being helped by the likes of Susan, Evelyn Katongo, the mesmerizing midfielder. We also have uh, Esther Soweto Simpamba in the middle of the park. Not forgetting uh, Lungo in Amasiko. As well as uh, Elizabeth Muali, who scored two goals against Queens on Sunday. So those are the names for today's day. We forgot Tina Rose Banda, another Zimbabwean international. So three Zimbabwean players in this day is this setup. Good way there by Chito Zingirai, of course. She played for the Zimbabwean national women's team. Talking about uh, the Warriors of Zimbabwe. ZSD, like Kelly mentioned, they are being coached by Mike Mufishi alongside uh, Coach Zirole Daka. As an opponent for Red Arrows here, it's true. But, uh, well, Mary. The cross comes through. Good header in the box by Evelyn. So, do or die game, it is here. Still goalless between Red Arrows and ZSD. So far, Red Arrows look dangerous in this particular match, of course. And, uh, I think I forgot to mention one name, one player for Red Arrows. Milika Limuanya, a player who is nicknamed Yaya Tuli. So, with arrows new, ZISD new is the state of affairs in this particular match here at Nkoloma Stadium. Oh, well, there's a call for a penalty though, but uh, it will definitely be a free kick just on the edge of the 18 yard box. As Mary Mambwe, a player I like calling her the trickster. Almost tricking uh, ZISD and she was brought down just on the edge of the 18 yard box. So it's a set piece to the air ladies in a very good position. Eh? The likes of uh, Mary Wilombe as well as uh, Mary Mulenga. So the two Marys in conversation to see who will take charge of this uh, set piece. So the team fees your team doctor for Red Arrows, Grantwell Mwinga, attending to Mary Mambwe was brought down on that particular occasion so it's a free kick here in favor of uh, red arrows otherwise it's an interesting game here at Lusaka's in Coloma Stadium last game of the season for red arrows whereas uh, it is a uh, second last match for ZISD they have a date this weekend should be on Sunday against Pusa at Independence Stadium so two points separating the two sides red arrows are second with uh, 30 points ZISD are third with 28 points so a win for ZISD will secure them qualification to the playoffs. Whereas a defeat for Red Arrows will ensure that uh, they drop to third position. So let's wait and see. It's a free kick to Red Arrows to be taken by Mary Mulenga. Wow, that was almost a goal, but uh, Chido Zingirai was almost caught napping. So it's a corner kick. So three corners already for Red Arrows. New for ZISD. So, Red Arrows have been putting and piling pressure on this ZISD side. But let's wait and see how this match will pan out. Still early moments of this particular game as we have witnessed uh, 8 minutes gone in the first half. So, it's a corner kick. Mary Mambo yet again, the trickster. The delivery comes through from a corner. Wow! At some point, I thought that Chido had a touch of the ball, but uh, the goal kick has been awarded here in favor of uh, Team Kwapu, the Kuchalo girls, ZISD. A rejuvenated side. Last three meetings between these two teams, we have seen Red Arrows winning two times, ZISD winning once. This year, ZISD beat Red Arrows in the reverse fixer by two goals to nil. Whereas, when you look at our last uh, season, the first encounter, Red Arrows beat ZISD by 13 0. Grace Chanda scoring nine goals, of course. And I can see Grace Chanda is actually watching with us here. And uh, in the reverse fixture, last time ZISD were at Nkoloma Stadium, they lost 9-0. So this time around, Red Arrows have been having it very hard, you know, to pick up maximum results. Back-to-back -back defeats for Red Arrows. They lost to Busa 3-0. They lost to Queens by 2 goals to 1. So they are looking to get back to winning ways. But they are up against the ZISD side that is hungry for success this season. But of course, another hard door is on its way. Talking about Green Buffaloes, eh? Who are the opponents of the winner between these two teams? 
So that is precious Tido Zingirai. Like earlier mentioned, three players from ZSD are all from Zimbabwe. One goalkeeper in Chido Zingirai, precious. We have Engines Tumbari, the Benz, who is a, a defender, not forgetting a Dina Rose Banda, who is a, a striker. So, it is Paxina Achidwa, but uh, she was highly policed by the trickster Mary. Still Paxina though, looking for Lungoe, but uh, that Baki wasn't good enough. As Alines Kasoma. Wow. So, Saidi, you are saying Harrows have taken this game by storm in these first few minutes. They are pressuring the dice team, though they should make use of uh, this good period they are having. Yeah, you're right. So, Red Arrows are piling so much pressure on this ZISD side. They know what is at stake. It's nothing other than three points that will guarantee Red Arrows to the playoffs. One Augustine, Leo Flowers, thank you so much, brother man, uh, for, for joining us this broadcast. Eh? Really appreciate it. So, it's a throwing in favor of uh, ZISD, of course, even as uh, Elizabeth Mwali, the former Indian Roses uh, winner, product of the United and Livingston, of course, on the ground. Talking about uh, the Zambia under 17 winner. But she's back on her feet. She's got a brace, of course, uh, on Sunday. Against the Queens, so she's bubbling with confidence. Another throwing in favor of uh, ZISD. We haven't seen much of uh, you know work by Dennis Kasoka. Talking about the goalkeeper for Arrows, she he has been on holiday in these early moments of the game. That is Tamara. The Benz finds Jacqueline. Still Jackie. But uh, that ball was to whom it may concern. A little bit of miscommunication between Fiki Zozo, Fiki and Kosa, and I. That is Mary. With a splitting ball, the Benz safety face there. Natasha Tanda, thank you so much for watching, including uh, Bob Mungwenya. Thank you very much, brother Mane. Coach Zilole is one of the best coaches in Zambia when it comes to men's football. Or oh, why they don't call him at the national team level. <laughs> thank you, one Robai. Oh, good game there by Mary Mulienga, but that pass was to whom it may concern. Otherwise, it is still Red Arrows new. Zeta is the new state of affairs here from the Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka, Zambia. Two points separating the two sides. Aravela Chilufia, thank you very much for joining on this broadcast. Red Arrows, this is how Zeta is still launching an attack. That was Lungo in Amasiku with an ambitious long range effort. But uh, Dainis had nothing much to do. It is Fikile, 10 by Fikizozo. But that pass only as far as Ivalin. It was a late challenge on Ivalin. Oh, that should be a card if possible. But let's wait and see the decision from the referee. But two players already on the ground. Yeah, that was dangerous high boot challenge. Lungo, of course, was recently on the injury list and that looked so dangerous for the under seven, under 20 player and we can see from her reaction of course dangerous play by Mary Mulenga so the first card has been issued to Mary Mulenga after that hard challenge on Lungo and Amasiku the ZISD captain of course so we can see both team physios from Red Arrows and uh, ZISD attending to Lungo and Amasiku I just hope it is not very bad otherwise it was something else so Lungo a being stretched off the field of play to receive further treatment. It will be a big blow if Lungo won't be able to continue his play, of course. So it's a free kick in favor of uh, Red Arrows as Lungo is still receiving treatment on the touchline. Otherwise, we're expecting a lot. Milimo, hi Ariel. Thank you so much for watching. Eh? We appreciate it. Bob Mukaila, ZIST Kutalo, go Lungo, we go. Thank you so much for that contribution. Otherwise, the injury for Lungo looks very dangerous and very bad, actually. But anyway, it's a free kick to the Kutalo girls to be taken by uh, Tamara Mtonga, a product of Mississi Queens United. And talking about Mississi, they'll be in action this afternoon against Pataki girls. In the first women's league, Lusaka province encounter. So, Lungo is still receiving treatment. That was harsh play by Mary. Milimo, you say, 
should be care she's a star in the game right now oh yeah that is true mwamba mutali thank you so much as always you know for watching i appreciate wow from the look of things it it's a big blow lungo in amasiku has been forced out after that challenge from Mary Mulenga. So, a first change on its way for the Dicey. And Lungo is still in deep pain. So, that's sad development, you know. You just wish Lungo a quick recovery as she has been rushed to the hospital now. Wow, it's a sad day. So the captain for ZSD has been rushed to the hospital as things stand after that uh, challenge from Mary Mulenga. Very sad, you know, but uh, it's a game of football. We're just wishing her the quickest recovery so that she can get back. Because she's also in the plans for the national team who will be traveling to Morocco for the African Women Cup of Nations. They'll be entering camp two weeks from now. So Lungowe is also one of those uh, players that are expected to be part of the national team setup. So we are hoping for the best in terms of our quickest recovery. We're talking about Lungowe in Namasiku. So ZSD is still down to 10. Otherwise, it is still Red Arrows new. ZSD new. new ZST new Jacqueline another free kick in favor of uh, ZST so we still await the change looks like uh, TK to cause the Daka will be the player to replace the injured Lungo in Amasiku the captain for ZST so it's uh, the Benz Engines Dumbari the free kick good interception by Mary it is Jacqueline. Too much for Tamara. Hastings, are, are you? She swaswa. Thank you so much for watching. Eh? ZSD, very organized at the back. Thanks for your contribution. No, that is Mary Mam. So the two Marys, Mary go around each other there. It is Mary Mam. Paxina. Finds uh, Elizabeth Mwali. Twist and turns by Eliza. Good blockade by Limwanya. It is Paxina. Safety faced by Paxi. So, a change will be effected this time around. So, TK, because the Daka is on for the injured Lungo in Amasiku. So, first change, first change has been made here by Tim Fwapu, the Kuchalo girls. In this two or die encounter. So that is uh, Mimi, Miriam Wapi. Recently on the books of Patak, the Stambul Girls. Eh? As ZSD are launching an attack through Elizabeth Mwale, the speedy winger. She plays the ball to TK. First contribution from TK finds uh, Evelyn Katongo. Used her weaker left foot, but uh, good blockade. It is TK. There was a call for a penalty in the box, but. Uh, the referee not interested as Dainez Kasoka, they are dying a little for red arrows, eh? Hey, James Pande, thank you so much for watching, eh? So, Dainez is the collect. So, now, ZSD seems to be in the game. They are the slow start, but they seem to be organized this time around. Miriam Mwamambwe. Still Mary looking for more options to play the board too. So that is where my was but there was Miriam Mwabe equal to the task. Teresa and Regina, you're watching from South Africa. Wow, my friend. So Unta Nuena. Umutla Loe Absa beat me a ship. 
Thank you so much for watching. Eh? You don't know if you are in Johannesburg or if you are in now. Um, I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Eh? Teresa Chioe. Teresa Bakajika and Regina Mlinga. I know you have uh, assignments, no? I know Teresa, you'll be in Olympia. Regina, you'll be in Kalingalinga. <laughs> Thank you so much for your contribution. Mr. Simon Zulu, you love the weather. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Zulu, for your contribution. We appreciate. Weather was new. Zeta is the new. Mary, oh, that was uh, Mary Lombe, though. Place the book back in the box. The clearance wasn't so convincing for the camera. So, it's a throw in to red arrows. Quickly taken. Paxina. Another throw in, but this time around in favor of Zeta East. So, still goal is here between the air ladies and uh, Team Kwapu, the Kuchalo girls. Thank you so much to everyone for sending in uh, your comments. I'm missing out some, but I'll be able to review when the game goes at half time. That is, uh, if I want to hit them as the match unfolds. Oh! That was uh, another hard challenge. So already, Lungo in Amasiku has been stretched off due to an injury. And on that occasion, we saw there uh, Dinaro's Banda colliding with Fikile Nkosa. Mutoya Sylvester, thank you so much for watching. It's James, thank you so much as well for your contribution. One FIFA, Povesa, thank you so much for joining us this broadcast as well. Kismo Zulu, it's good to see women's football growing and getting competitive each season with teams like ZISD and Diasa getting on board. Watching from Pauleni. Thank you so much. Kismo one Zulu all the way from Pauleni. Ben Koani, keep up the good works, but Pedro, keep up showing us the beautiful game of football. You're welcome, brother man. So you really appreciate. So let's get back to business here. That is Jacqueline. Finds Tamara. Still Tamara. To Evaline Katongo. Christian tens by Eva. The under 20 player. Also Copa Queens player, of course. Medically Mwanya intercepts. Only as far as Jacqueline. It is so way to Esther Simpamba. Good play by ZIST. Look at that exchange of passes. But Rudy Zuru being rude on that occasion. There's the line for Red Arrows. Mary. Wow. So it's a free kick in favor of uh, Red Arrows. Still new, new here, State of Affairs. 21 minutes played. Red Arrows new, ZISD new. In this crunch to a die encounter for both teams. So it's a free kick, Fikil and Kosa. A delivery comes through, headed away by the Baines. Mary the. Oh. That is a uh, Limwanya Milika winning herself a free kick. There was a rolling ball. Russ Daniel watching from Matero. Thank you so much, Russ Daniel, for watching all the way from Matero. So, just a reminder once again the last time these two teams met, ZISD beat Red Arrows by two goals to nil. So ZISD are looking for a double victory this season over Red Arrows. On the other hand, Red Arrows would want to beat ZISD for a third time in four meetings. So good pass from um, Square Mayawase. Mary Mambwe. Good blockade by the Benz. Another corner to Red Arrows. Four corners to Red Arrows, none to ZISD. Coach Mufishi has been up and standing for ZISD from the time the match started, ensuring that uh, his lasses 
don't go to sleep at some point. You may remember in the corner, but poorly done by the trickster. So it's goal kick in favor of uh, ZIST. Still goal is here at Nkoloma Stadium. Rachel Nachula, thank you so much for watching. I can see you, including Dangote Grace Chanda. That is uh, Ivalin Katongo looking for Elizabeth Mwali. Still, Eliza plays it back to Paxina, who was looking for Dina Rose. But Fikile, the fan's favorite player, was there equal to the task. It is Evelyn. She seems to be getting involved in all the, the work in the middle of the park, you know. That is uh, Doreen. She disposes. So. We are going to see the first corner in favor of ZISD, of course, in this particular match. So, corner kick to the visitors here at Coloma Stadium. Otherwise, it is still new, new. A winner making it to the playoffs. Will it be Red Arrows or ZISD? And after 90 minutes, we'll be able to know the answer to that question. ZISD with a corner. Paxina. Oh, that was uh, Elizabeth Mali. But go kick to the air ladies. Chisolangandu. Thank you so much for watching. All the way from Kitwe. Soxin Sotini. Hi. Thank you very much for joining on this podcast. You know. We appreciate it. Red Arrows are in attack. This looks promising. Chido has committed herself and she clears the line. Good work by the sweeper keeper. Chido pressures Tikirai. It is Square Mayawasi. It again for Red Arrows. But uh, Baxina was equal to the task. Innocent Piri, thank you so much for watching. Eh? We appreciate it. Milika. A throw into Red Arrows. Red Arrows are second with 30 points. ZISD are third with 28 points. So, we are expecting a lot. A win for ZISD will secure them qualification to the playoffs. A draw will still be on their advantage ahead of their last game against Busa over the weekend which is coming up so throwing in favor of red arrows coach Muenzi thank you so much for watching Milika looking for Alines Kasoma a player who is also known as Michael Rose it is Mary Wendy Mulinka to the trickster Mary Mambwe. So the two Marys combining so well. Let's try it. Free kick to Red Arrows. So it's a free kick that is in our daddy here in favor of Red Arrows. As our referee Francis Sichali having a tough chat with Jacqueline Chumba after that blockade on the trickster Mary Mambwe. Red Arrows to be taken by Fikir and Kosa, the captain for the air ladies. The delivery comes through. Chido is equal to the task. The Red Arrows women, of course. That is uh, Manning Ming, Elizabeth. That was a little bit of a push. So the throwing instead that has been awarded to the Kuchalo girls. Talking about ZISD, Team Kwapu, the Kwapu Nation. That is uh, Mary to the other Mary. But TK throwing to ZISD. <laughs> so 
So throw in here in favor of uh, AZISD. Remember, Lungo in Amasik has been rushed to the hospital after picking up uh, that injury. And she was replaced by uh, Tokozi Nedaka. So that is Paxina Chilwa. But good interception there by Mary Wilombe. Who finds a square my was a good one to between square but uh, well intercepted by the young Miriam Wapi. So that is Rudy Zulu. A little bit of slow reaction from Rudy. As Elizabeth Mwale is trying to launch an attack for the team Kwapu Nation. Back to Eliza. That is Dina Rose Banda. Who missed chance by TK? One on one situation with Dennis. Wow. Coach Mufishi and Zilole are furious for ZSD, of course, on the technical bench. It is now counter attack for Red Arrows. Will ZSD be punished? Mary with a shoot? Good save by Chido. Wow. This should be another card, of course, I think. Let's wait and see, though, as Chido is receiving treatment. Wow. Definitely a yellow card, of course. There was no way Mackey Rose could have done that. But of course, it was end-to-end -end stuff on that occasion. TK missing a glorious opportunity this side. On the rebound, the other end, Red Arrows also meeting a scorcher. So play on hold as Chido, precious Jingirai, is receiving treatment from the team physio. So play on hold. An opportunity for Chit Chats mini conferences as always. Team Kwapu. You can see there, Coach Mufishi, one of the animated coaches that I have come to know in this uh, women's football league. Aside from the likes of Coach Haluono, Coach Simon Kayombo, Coach w Wisdom Kaira, <laughs> Coach William Zulu, yeah, Coach Leonard Mulaco, Mourinho. So all those animated coaches that I know in the league, you know. So. Chido still receiving treatment. Two players from Red Arrows are sitting on a yellow card. Talking about Mary Mulenga and Alines Kasoma. So, Coach Jessica Chawoda, assistant coach for Red Arrows, in conversation with the captain of the side, Fiki Denposa. Fiki Zozo. You can also see there, Coach Simon Wale and Coach Edna Shamangu also issuing further instructions because both teams know what is at stake in this particular match. So the good news for the Kuchalo girls is that Precious is ready to resume his play. Otherwise, still goal is here between Red Arrows and ZISD. Last 15 minutes now to half time. Mary with a good splitting ball to Alines Kasoma. This looks promising for Red Arrows. Good turn by Alines. Good blockade by Precious. So far, Precious Chido is putting up Splendid performances, you know. Talking about the 31 year old Zimbabwean international goalkeeper. So it's another corner for Red Arrows. Quickly taken. Mary. The delivery comes through, headed away by Jacqueline to Evaline, who clears the line. But it is Elizabeth Manning Ming. She was brought down. Free kick to Red Arrows. Wow. What a game. It's a series of end to end stuff we are witnessing here at Nkoloma Stadium. Bragging rights at stake. One spot in the playoffs is also at stake. Green Buffaloes await the winner between these two teams here. In the semi finals slated for the 25th of May, which will be Wednesday next week, in midweek. Whereas uh, the final is slated for the 28th of May, next week on Saturday. Let's wait and see who will be the national champions. In the meantime, it's a free kick to Red Arrows. This time around, it is Mary Mulenka. But uh, that wasn't good enough from Mary Wendy Mulinga, a product of Pusa Queens, a team that has produced a lot of players in the league, the likes of Betts, Barbara Banda, Mary Mwakapila, Helen Mwanga, Vaspiri, Roda Chileshi. Just to mention but a few, but of course, Mire Kalimwanya. Good turn by Mary Mulinga. They should be offside. Offside against Alias Kasoma. We can see there. Good call by our first assistant. Louis Andoshikavi. Oh, 
so that is Tamara. She dispossess. Red arrows are launching an attack now. But good work there by Chido yet again. Who is actually the assistant captain? Now we understand why she's an assistant captain to Lungoe because of those uh, good saves. As ZSD now string good passes. Eliza switch flanks. <laughs> With Tokosi the Duck. Linda Hamiwe Jacobson. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. So, it's a free kick here in favor of Red Arrows. Still goalless in this crunch encounter. As things stand, if it ends like this, the result might be at least 50% in ZSD's favor. Because they have the last game against Busa. Whereas it is the last game for Red Arrows. So, throwing has been awarded to Red Arrows to be taken by Maki Rose, Alinis Kasoma. She scored the last time these two teams met, of course, here at Nkoloma Stadium. The same could be said to Mary Mlenga and Mary Wilombe. So, so it's a goal kick actually that has been awarded. A little bit of miscommunication between uh, the first assistant and the referee. Coach Tafara Piri, thank you so much, Coach TP, for watching. We appreciate. Coach Bernard Moa, Beach Singer, thank you so much as well for joining us this podcast. We wish you all the best as people's team, Luyando, will take a long trip from Kanyama to Chainda against uh, Terence this afternoon at 15 hours. The same could be said to Coach TP, Tafara Piri, as young Yasa, who take a long trip. Are you playing against uh, one plus eight? If I'm not mistaken, eh? This looks promising by Mulai. Mary Lombe. Good turn by Mary, but uh, Paxina was there equal to the task. TK. Toko. Uh, it is Mary. She's really doing a good job in the middle of the park. Uh, that was. Uh, a wasted opportunity by Esther Simpamba, a player who is nicknamed Soweto, recently on the books of football chance, who been action this afternoon against Garden Youth. Good turn there by Evelyn Katongo. Good pass equally to Soweto. Finds Elizabeth Mwale. The cross comes through. Good work there by Dines Kasoka. Dying a little for red arrows, of course. That's like a name. So, two players on the ground for Red Arrows. We have got Rudy Zulu in Dines Kasoka. So, three players Red Arrows have been told to warm up. Talking about Teselia Zulu. We have uh, the reserve goalkeeper in uh, Chikonkoma. <laughs> Alright, so play on hold here as he wind down the clock to half time. Still goalless, Red Arrows new. ZISD new. Yet again, mini conferences there. Coach Jessica in conversation with uh, Mary and Doreen, whereas Coach Ed Nasha and Coach Simon Wadi in a chit chat with um, Medical Imwanya. <laughs> It's an interesting game, of course. So play is still on hot. Here at Nkoloma Stadium. Red Arrows new. ZISD new. Stan Muntanga. Interesting game it is. I'm able to watch Namasi Kulungo, a product of Moose Sports. Well, wow, thank you so much. Coach Stan. Unfortunately, Lungo was injured. She has been rushed to the hospital. Oh, she's a good player. She has assisted the most number of goals for the DST this season. Oh, Coach TP, you're up against King Soka. Wow. Thanks for that uh, correction, Coach TP. All the best as young Yasa goes there. And congratulations, by the way, Coach TP, as the stubborn Yasa are through. They are the winners of this zone.
So, still goal is here between Red Arrows. Who are launching an attack, but a little bit of miscommunication. The end product from both teams, not so impressive. That is Evelyn Katongo, the mesmerizing player with a great look away pass, but so wait, wasn't anticipating for that. Tamara to Eva. So both teams are playing their lungs out. Mary with a good pass to Willow to Mary Mlenga. Good work by the Benz. She's really driving ZSD at the back. So it's a throw in to be taken by uh, Willombe. Uh, if you're not interested, that is Elisa, Susan. Hi, Rachel. That is Paxina Chirwa. Finds TK Tokozi the Daka, a product of Chipata Girls, of course, in Eastern Province. Evelyn, yet again, with a good pass to Eliza. Still Elizabeth. So the two Elizas locking horns against each other. Talking about Elizabeth Manning Ning and Elizabeth Mwali. So throw in to Tim Kwapu to be taken by Jacqueline Lupambo. Yaya Limwanya with the clearance on the back. As chance for the boy it's on here. Mary Mambo against Miriam Mwape. It is Mary. Still Mary. This looks promising. Yeah, is the upright. Wow. That was a great effort from Mary Mambwe. The trick still. Wow. Zeta is there been saved by the upright. It is Limwanya, who cool, come and collected in the middle of the park. Mary, but good header by uh, Paxina to Esther Simpamba, who finds a uh, TK looking for Dina Rose. But Fikile is there, equal to the task. That is Simpamba. Good work by Mary long before Arrows. Arrows now launching an attack. Yet again, Mary Mamba against Miriam Wape. It is Mary. Good blockade there by uh, Evelyn Katongo. Wow! What a game! We have on our hand here. So, shortly we'll conclude this first half. Otherwise, that's been an electric half. Both teams have really put up. The hundred and ten percent here. <laughs> we don't be. Oh, saved by uh, Tamara on the line. Good save by Tamara. But it could have been a great goal from Elizabeth Manning Ning. She's yet to score this season. But ZSD should be thankful to Tamara for saving that goal opportunity. Three minutes to play now, to half time. Red Arrows new, ZSD new. Wow. It's an entertaining game here at Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka, the home ground for the Air Ladies. Red Arrows Women Football Club. That is Square Maiwasi, Tulimwanya. Shan Lish is a shot. Offside against uh, Mike Rose, Alinez Kasoma, Coach Goso. Thank you so much, Coach Goso, of course. All the way from Northwestern Province, representing our police staff queens, the cops. So, offside, it is uh, Precious Chido, the assistant captain for Team Kwapu. Good header by Mary, finds Alinez. But uh, the Benz was there to clear the line for the Puchalo girls. That is Rudy Zulu. Tamara does a good job. Good clearance there by Jacqueline. It is Mary against Paxina. Still Mary Mambwe. Area on, she hit the upright. But this time around, there's a traffic of the Kuchalo girls right in front of Mary. 
So it's a free kick here to ZIST. Wow, what an impressive game. Last season, Red Arrows put 13 goals past ZIST. It was 13-0 to Red Arrows. A lot of people said <laughs> that uh, ZIST was, was the provincial material. But here they are. They are looking on the Red Arrows. They have already beaten them once this season, looking for a double victory. So football this time around has evolved. It has developed. No underdogs in women's football. Each and every team is fighting harder. So, this is the beauty of football. That is my wasi. We could, the good pass to Willowombe. Mary. Still Mary. That is another Mary Mulenga. Good header by the Benz. So we also forgot to mention one aspect. Dao Chu, Ochumba Lubanje Oseke is also missing an injury. She was not included on match day squad. Talking about uh, the striker for Red Arrows. She's out injured. So it's a tough day for Red Arrows. A tough one for ZISD. So let's wait and see how many more minutes will be added on here before we wrap up this first half. Mary. Offside. Okay, I thought it was offside at some point. But we are still on here. That is uh, Precious Chido Tengirai. Zimbabwean international goalkeeper. This should be a throwing to Red Arrows. That is uh, Manning Nin, Young Pedro. <laughs> Nachibula. Wow, it's a throw in in favor of uh, Red Arrows, in favor of ZISD actually, to be taken by Jacqueline Chomba. You can see animation from Coach Mufishi there. Eh? The second Mufishi I know apart from Tukia Mufishi, of course. <laughs> anyway, Susan twist and turns by Evelyn. Look at that. Mesmerizing player she is. But it is Mary for Red Arrows. Tulimwanya Milika, who switches play to the other Mary, the trickster, Mary Mambwe. Still Mary, up against Paxina. The delivery comes through. Good work by Jacqueline to Evelyn Katongo, who finds Zesta Simpamba, Soweto. So, Evelyn, she has really put up uh, a splendid performance in this first half. Fikile clears the line, even as Dinesh was calling for the ball. That is TK to Dina Rose Banda. But a little bit of slow reaction from Dina Rose. TK, Toko. But that ball was wasted. Anytime from now. The final whistle will be blown. Oh, sorry, the halftime whistle actually. <laughs> All this game has been... I feel like it is 90 minutes already, but we have just played less than 50 minutes. So, I'm not so sure how many more minutes have been added on, but it uh, should be as a result of that uh, stoppage we had when Lungoe was, uh, was fouled. And in the end, rushed to the hospital. So, still 0 0 here between Red Arrows and, of course, ZISD. A square Mayawase plays the ball back to Mary Willombe. Mary. To the other Mary. Seems like it's a Mary go round here at Nkoloma Stadium. Another Mary Mulenga finds Milika Limwanya. Quick reaction by uh, Ivalin. It is Rudy Zuru now. Rudy has overlapped. It is Doreen Mwaseva to Mary. So, a minute won't pass without me mentioning Mary, you know. It's either Mary Willombe, Mary Mambwe, or Mary Mlinga. All getting involved for Red Arrows. The referee looks at his watch. This could be the last action of this first half, probably. But let's wait and see. Still, Red Arrows new. ZISD new in this crunch encounter here at Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka. Hi, Natasha. Chilofia. So that whistle by our referee Francis Sichali marks the end of this intriguing match at Nkoloma Stadium between the Air Ladies and the Kuchalo Girls. Otherwise, plenty of more action coming up in the second half. 
at the end of the day, only one winner is guaranteed the spot in the playoffs semi finals. Will it be Red Arrows or ZIST? Plenty of more action coming up, otherwise, it's just been an intriguing game here at Nkoma Stadium. I hope you are enjoying the coverage. I'm Moses Pedro, Mwanza, of course, the community football reporter, always giving you updates in terms of our women's football. So, half time scores from the Nkoma Stadium here it ends. Red Arrows new. ZIST new. Before I close this live broadcast, let me just try to read some of the comments from our viewers. Arabella, Tilipapo. Oh, who's a red at Tilipapo? Okay. My player of the match in this first half so far, Mary Mambwe. Uh, Mary Mambwe. She has been all over the field of play here for Red Arrows. Wow, what is going on here? Already. Both teams, you know. <laughs> wow. Mwanga Kamuti, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate. You are also at Nkoloma. Wow, Bwana Mwangara, Munikut. Shai B, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate. Richard Kaelu Mihende, Coach Boso, thank you so much once again. Including uh, my brother man, Gesho Asinyama. Thank you very much. You love the intensity of the game. Yeah, it's really intense, you know. End to end stuff we are witnessing here at Nkoloma Stadium. So let me just carry on with some of the comments. Masamba, thank you very much for watching, including our baby doe, Edith Zimba, my number. Thank you very much for watching from Ellen Kaunda. You appreciate my number. Hope you are fine today. One Boni, thank you very much, one FIFA for watching, including our coach Bill Kalinda. Thank you very much for joining this broadcast. Rachel Mpepo Kopwa. Chewe Kaliwili, who missed that great chance that I could be leading? It was uh, Tokozi Ledaka who missed that opportunity for Red Arrows. Saidi, uh, I love your your contribution or comments, my brother. I love the compactness of ZIST. They are focused, defending very well, ready to hit arrows on the counter, most definitely. Simon Zulu, you are watching from uh, Mabanga City. Thank you very much, including uh, one Maweta, Glory Chilenga, Gaucho, Ronaldinho, Zambia, and Women's Football. Thank you very much, Maweta, for watching and for your contribution as well. We appreciate Fikile, the Van Dyke of Red Arrows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very strong defender she is. Coach Kenny Gaza. Thank you very much, brother man, for watching. You know, really appreciate for your overwhelming support as always. Rick's Regan, you're watching from Toma Town. Thank you very much, CC, for watching, and I hope you're fine today. Limwanya means business. Wanche Wekaliwide, you are backing ZIST for the win. <laughs> That's a good one, eh? Karo Wachiab, keep up the good work. Thanks, Karo. Samuel Shambo, Chisamba, keep up the good work. Thanks, Uncle Sam. Let's see if I can catch some more comments. My mom tell you, good show. Chitikangwa, thank you very much for watching, brother man, including a Chao Miselo, Joy Tamis. Thank you very much. Lilian Kunda, you're welcome on board. Anyway, half time scores from the Nkoloma Stadium here, it has ended. Red Arrows new, ZISD new, and Moses Pedro Mwanza. I'll be right back in the next. Five minutes to run you through the proceedings from this match venue. Let me take a breather. Don't go away.